Good morning. Two bits of very important uh, news uh, this week, obviously. Um, first is first full week of spring training. Uh, for those baseball fans, so Vice Chair Lou and I rooting for our Dodgers. Uh, so uh, they'll be in Glendale, Arizona. Uh, so I know all of you are very focused on that as well. But more importantly, we're the House Democratic Caucus is so pleased to um, welcome back uh, to Congress uh, Tom Swazi after his successful uh, election last night. It's a great day for the country, for the people of New York's third congressional district. Um, and it's a return to um, replacing someone in that seat, placing someone in that seat with the dignity uh, to solve problems and to work in a bipartisan way to get things done rather than a sideshow that was George Santos. Uh, one less vote for MAGA extreme Republicans uh, to advance their abortion bans, one less vote for their uh, desire to slash Social Security and Medicare, uh, one less vote. Um, for them to help billionaires cheat on their taxes. Uh, those are the things that the, Repu that the public knows um, and are important for uh, House Democrats. This victory was made possible because of the leadership of our uh, DCCC field general, uh, Susan Del Bene, uh, Leader Jeffries, and the leadership team. Uh, they made smart, strategic decisions and investments uh, down the home stretch that led to success. But this election also shows that the economic agenda is working, and people are beginning to reap the benefit of landmark legislation that we helped pass together, and that Tom Swazi helped pass with us. Because of the leadership of President Biden and Vice President Harris, we have created 14.8 million jobs uh, throughout the country. Inflation is cooling and wages are rising. We know that there's more work to do to ensure that everybody feels in that uh, economic success and that we're building a resilient economy uh, that works for everyone. But we're excited uh, to see uh, this result and we're excited um, to see uh, around the country uh, the benefit that those pieces of legislation provide. There's no doubt that we continue to put people over politics. Uh, we always have and we always will, and we uh, welcome back Tom Swazi, uh, who will do just that.